Hello, I'm Martin Delaney, and today we're looking at Velocity in Ableton Live 8. Let's look at using Velocity in the Groove Pool. Here I have a audio beat. I have a groove in the pool that I can drop straight onto that. And then, once I start using the velocity parameter to apply some of the velocity changes to the beat. You can hear it really changes a lot until you start working with the velocity parameter with the grooves. A lot of them don't really give you the full effect. I think I'd prefer it if live defaulted to a 15 or 20% velocity value instead of zero. We can use a commit button as well to make those changes permanent just so we can go in and see how these grooves are working. Obviously with an audio clip live converting the velocity values to volume changes. Let's have a quick look at how it works with clip launching. I have some clips here. They're all mapped to notes on my keyboard. So I hit the key on the keyboard. It's just going to launch those clips. So now we can add something different to that because for each of these clips, when I've selected them all, you can add a velocity sensitivity. So, so how hard you hit the key or your drum pad now is going to determine how loud the clip is when it's launched. It's not the right technique for everything, but it can give you a more dynamic and interactive way of working with your clips. Velocity also makes a big difference to the impulse drum sampler. You know, in impulse we have eight sample slots, and we have these kind of velocity sensitive controls for each one of the different slots. So there's a lot of control here. For the filter, for time stretching of samples, and for transposition. You can hear straight away, it's quite responsive. Let's apply that to all of these percussion slots. We're basically maxing out the velocity sensitivities for transposition and stretching for each of these samples. This is particularly good if using drum pads to trigger these. I 
We also do something with the pans here, so each one takes up its own space in the stereo spectrum. I'm just going to apply the volume sensitivity to each one as well. That defaults to 70% in impulse anyway. But let's just bring it all the way out. Now, we could add to this by dragging in the velocity MIDI device. So here's a, a beat I've added to those same sounds we were just working with. Now if I add the velocity MIDI effect, if I bring down the output value, it's going to limit the maximum range that is applied to these samples. But it's quite cool if you can work that in real time. You can also bring some randomization. We can also apply a little drive to this, a little boost. Thank you. 